everyone, welcome to Miami Life and Fitness. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about what is the correct dose for Anivar, for men and for women. Stay tuned. I get clients saying, oh, I'm, I have 20 and 30 milligrams of Anivar that I'm taking, but why? But why? Because you're not seeing results. But why aren't you seeing results? Let's get to the core of the issue. All right, guys, so if you're going to like this video about Anivar and this is going to be of interest to you because you want to know exactly what are the doses that you should be taking if you're a man or if you're a woman, hit the like button now, subscribe, and stay tuned to all of my videos so you can stay updated on how to dose, cycle, eat, and train. So let's get right into the video. Oh, but before we start, if you do need consultations, you can go to my website to book a consultation or you can email me direct if you do need help with how to cycle, whether you're competing or not, or you just want to get fit, or you're a beginner in the fitness journey, or do you want to learn how to eat correctly, manage your food, and also proper training. So email me at miamilifeandfitness at gmail.com or book your consultation on my website at www.miamilifeandfitness.com. Now let's get started with the video. So as I'm filming this video, Sarabi's right here. I don't know if you can see her, but she's right here next to me as I'm filming this video. So listen, I get asked a lot of questions. Should I take five milligrams? Should I take 2.5 milligrams of R? Should I take 10? Should I up it to 20? Should I up it to 30? Men want to start at 10. Men want to start at 20. People have really no idea how powerful and how beneficial this steroid or this compound or this anabolic really is. And some of you really aren't making any changes as far as balancing your hormones or training properly and even eating properly and getting your food in check and then just want to up the dose and doing things very care carelessly and irresponsibly. So here I'm going to set the facts straight so that you can actually do an effing cycle correctly. And a cycle is not two to three weeks. A cycle is pretty much as long as you get your labs and everything is in check, you can continue to flow with whatever you're taking as long as you're responsible about it and get your labs done. So. Women, this is going to be for you. We're going to start with women first. So a lot of women want to start with 5 milligrams because they're scared, 10 milligrams, 7.5, should I cut it in half, 2.5 milligrams. The thing is that there is a standard dose for Anivar that we should be taking as a female, which is 10 milligrams. Whether you're competing or whether you're a beginner in your fitness journey. Why? Because a woman's body responds very quickly to anabolics and we are very sensitive to anabolics because we are female, because we have a much lower dose, about one-tenth of the testosterone levels as men do. So we need to be very careful with the doses of anabolics that we take. That being said, 10 milligrams is the desired, the standard, and the adequate dose, again, for a beginner. Doesn't matter if you weigh 100 pounds or 200 pounds, that is a standard dose. They are hormones, they are gonna stimulate uh, androgen receptors, they're gonna stimulate muscle growth as long as you are training heavy and intense and, and proper. So, there's really no need to start a cycle with 2.5 milligrams. That's really not gonna do anything for you. I don't care what anybody says. One out of a million people is actually going to get a good result or a benefit out of 2.5 milligrams. But the reality is, you're not gonna get any results from 2.5 milligrams of Anivar. So if you're gonna do this, do it right, and do it right from the beginning. If you're scared to take an anabolic and you're scared to take Anivar, which is a milder steroid to begin with, then this is not for you. Steroids are not for you, and doing a cycle is not for you. So just wrap your head out of that thought because this is not for you. You can't come into this with fear, just like you can't walk into a gym with fear if you don't know what you're doing. You have to ask somebody or hire a trainer so that you can do things properly. That's number one. You have fear, get the hell out of the way. Steroids, Anivar, whatever is not for you. Now, once the fear is out of the way and you don't have any fear, then you should start at the adequate and standard dose so you can get maximum results. Again, this is after you have your food in check, if you are training correctly and after you've gotten lab works, you can check your hormones. I cannot tell you how crucial, how imperative it is to actually check your hormones. It does cost a little bit of money if you have insurance and you go to a TRT or an independent lab and they cover it. All you got to pay is a $20, $40 copay. Then my God, pay your damn copay and get your lab work. If not, go to private MD labs. Link is also down below. Use my code Miami for a 50% off so you can get your lab work. So you can actually check on the up and up what's going on inside of you and check your hormonal panel so you see where your progesterone is, your estrogen, ladies especially, and men over 30, and your testosterone levels, as well as your thyroid and your cholesterol, your growth hormone, and your TSH. These things are crucial in order to getting everything balanced to make sure that your thyroid is functioning properly so you can burn the amount of calories that you need. Now, for men, once we talk about Anivar, in order to see any type of results, the minimum that you're gonna be doing as a man is 40 to 50 milligrams. If you can't afford it, or you're scared to take more than 10 or 20 milligrams, again, scared factor, fear factor, this is not for you, 
and being a man and getting on a cycle is not for you and even doing little old friendly Anavar is not for you. If you're not going to pay the money and you're not going to do things right, then don't do it at all. Okay, that's like if you're gonna build a house and you don't have the proper materials and you only can build half the house and not the full house, why are you getting into building the house to begin with? Don't build the house because it's gonna come out half-assed or half-complete. You do things right from the beginning so you can get the desired results that you want. So if you're not gonna start men at 40 or 50 milligrams of VAR and then you can, you can rank that up all the way to 60, 70, 80, 90, up until 100, again, depending on your goal, depending on how much money you have, how long you want to cycle, and how many other compounds you have within that cycle. But right off the bat, you got to be right at 50. Right at 50, obviously with a little bit of test base, you want to throw some proviron in there and then an AI because Anavar, as weak as it is, I don't want to use the word weak, but as mild as it is, it will shut a man down. I don't care what anybody says. You got to have a test base, you got to have a DCT in place, which is your proviron, and you got to have an AI. Even if you don't aromatize easily, at least one pill of Aromadex a week is what you're gonna be needing so that you can prevent any aromatization. Again, ladies, 10 milligrams is all you need. It's really, it's, it's really, it's really pitiful to see women not getting the results that they want all because they're hard-headed and they're stubborn and they don't want to face the fact and they don't want to spend money on getting lab work and they just want to up the dose because they're not seeing results. So I do get a lot of comments and on consultations I get clients saying, oh I'm, I have 20 and 30 milligrams of Anavar that I'm taking, but why? But why? Because you're not seeing results. But why aren't you seeing results? Let's get to the core of the issue. The reason why you're not seeing results and the reason why you want to keep upping your Anavar dose is because you're not eating correctly, which most of you aren't, ever, ever. You're not training properly, which means you're not training intensely, and you don't have your hormones balanced because you don't want to spend money or you think that your body's perfect and there's nothing wrong with you and everything is balanced. So those are the things. You can't put the car in front of the horse. So before you think about getting on Anavar, get your lab work done, spend that money, bitches, spend that money. All right, that's the end of the video. Like, share, subscribe. Everyone have a great week. We are now in the middle of January and I can't wait. Again, thank you all to all my subscribers, to everyone that leaves a comment, all of you that take the time and comment and like my videos, like my shorts. Tell me if you're liking the shorts also. Tell me if you're liking how I'm putting up the mini remix clips of the videos for the shorts if you're liking those. I think that actually really does help. Um, there's an airplane flying over me right now. Thank God it's at the end of the video. But anyway, I just wanted to, just wanted to say that. But watch one of these two videos and everyone have a great week.